And in this episode, I'm going to show you a third way to prove that two triangles are similar. And if you remember, uh, similar triangles are just triangles that are dilations of each other. That means that uh, one triangle is um, enlarged or shrunk, shrinken, shrinken, shrink, whatever, is smaller than the other proportionally. And the first way to prove that two triangles, here's a little review, first way to prove two triangles are similar is by side, side, side. So if you can prove that all the sides are enlarged or shrunk proportionally by the same scale factor, um, then the two triangles really are similar. Uh, the second way that I showed you guys was using angle angle and that's when two pairs of corresponding sides are congruent then the triangles are similar uh, now the third way to prove that two triangles are similar is by using this third and last way to prove two triangles are similar by SAS similarity. <clears throat> That's uh, side angle side similarity. Now, let me show you what that means. So I'm going to take this triangle right here and I am going to uh, copy it so that we have another one. And I'm going to enlarge that copy, which means I'm going to, uh, I really didn't make a copy of it. I'm going to. Uh, copy it and paste it. So there we have two of the original triangle and place it right on top of it and then I'm going to enlarge it. I'm going to dilate it so every side is proportionally larger stretched out. Okay so there's that and there, now it's it's shrunk, shrank, shrunken down uh, but I'm going to proportionally uh, enlarge it so dilate it. So now we have two triangles that are similar to each other. Now, side angle side similarity says that if one pair of sides, so I'm going to put this and one is proportional to the other pair, and we have another pair of sides that are proportional to each other, like this and this, and the angle in between uh, is congruent, then the two triangles are similar. So let's say that this blue side is twice as long as the original blue side, and this green side is twice as long as uh, this original green side, and the angle A's are congruent to each other, then the two triangles are similar. Why does that work? Because this angle A stretches out this side right here proportionally uh, to uh, this side right here. So it, it, it keeps that side 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 similarity because this angle A stretches it out uh, the same amounts as these other two sides. Now let's just say for example that this angle A wasn't angle A. It wasn't congruent to this original angle A. What would happen? Well, if I change this angle uh, if I change this angle B to be smaller not as wide like that so there's angle B okay it really it look at this new triangle it's not it's not similar to this triangle this triangle here looks like it could be a right triangle or it could be a just all acute triangle and this triangle right here uh, is an obtuse triangle so in order for side angle side similarity to work two pairs of sides have to be proportional to each other so if this is twice as long as this then this has to be twice as long as this and the angles in between have to be congruent to each other so if this angle A is 130 degrees then this angle A right here uh, has to be 130 degrees they have to be congruent to each other so here is the formal definition of side angle side and let's move all this over all right here so if two pairs of corresponding sides are proportional and the angles sandwiched in between so make sure that the two angles in between are sandwiched between the two sides that are proportional okay so we focused on the angle that's 
being eaten by the, the two sides, so sandwiched, uh, then the triangles are similar. So notice that we didn't talk about these two angles over here. Okay, we talked about the angles that are being sandwiched by the two sides. So that's why it's side angle side and not SSA or ASS. Uh, so it's side angle side, side angle side. All right, so let's use our newfound knowledge to prove uh, whether these two triangles are similar. So uh, let's grab a pen and let's see. What do they give us? Well, they give us two pairs of sides, um, but we don't have a third pair of sides, so we can't really use side, side, side similarity. Um, we can use, it looks like we have a pair of angles we could talk about, but remember we need two pairs of angles to use angle, angle similarity, but it looks like we could use side, angle, side similarity. So let's see what we've got. Uh, we've got, uh, let's compare 11, or with this 110 with 11 okay these two are the shorter of the two sides and uh, BK and BC here's BC and here's BK they're in the same position as the names that they're given and let's see how many times does 11 go into 110 and I think I could do that in my head but let's just make sure yeah 10 okay and let's put that into a bubble. And don't forget your reason. Your reason would be given. Next one, I'm going to put my bubble over here. Let's compare these two sides. Uh, B, D, here's a first and a third with B and J or J and B. So the first and the third. So we have 140 over 14, which would be, let's use our calculators. Ah, 10. So those two pairs of sides are proportional because they simplify to the same scale factor. This side is 10 times as long as this side. This side is 10 times as long as this side. Don't forget the given. And let's see if we could use side angle side. Well, what kind of angles are these two right here? These are vertical angles. And what's true about vertical angles? They're congruent. So we can say that angle C B D okay so we got to be specific so from C to B and to D is congruent to K to B to J so it's congruent to angle K B and J and why are they congruent? Because they're vertical angles. So our reason, vertical angles. Uh, so if you look at it, what do we have here? Uh, we're talking, this is regarding a side, this is regarding an angle, and this is regarding a side. Uh, so we can come to the conclusion, and that angle is being sandwiched by the two sides. That triangle BCD is really similar to triangle BKJ. And for what reason? The one reason that we just learned about side, side, side similarity. There we go. There's our first flowchart using. Oh, hey, look at that. Totally messed that up. Uh, side angle side similarity not side 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 it even has yeah anyways yeah so side angle side similarity and remember that angle is sandwiched in between the two sides uh, that uh, are proportional so there you go all right example number two use a flow chart to prove that the two triangles are similar so let's highlight those two triangles we're talking about this small triangle because I can only see two triangles. That's why they didn't really give us a name. And so the small triangle and this big triangle that is part, that the small triangle is part of. So uh, the blue triangle and the green triangle. So let's see what we got. Uh, we've got, let's compare 
uh, from the green triangle of this 10. So from here to here is 10 over, and then what's the corresponding side to this 10? This entire side right here, which is 20. So 10 over 20. And if you did 20 over 10, that's fine. Just make sure that you it's, it's consistent with all your other bubbles. But I'm gonna do 10 over 20, and that simpli simplifies to 1 half. What's the reason? Given, don't get those wrong. If the if those values are already there, then if they're already there. Just put given. All right, and then let's compare to the next ones. We don't know what the length of this is, but we can figure it out. If the length of this entire thing is 24, and from here to here is 12, 24 minus 12 is 12. So this has to be 12, because 12 plus 12 is 24, 24 minus 12 is 12, 12, 12, 24, 12, 12, 20. Anyway, yeah, so uh, 12 over 24, which does simplify to 1 half. They gave us that information. We had to do some math, but yeah, we're going to put given. Okay. Um, all right, next one. Now, yeah, we don't have the side lengths for here. For these two sides so we can't use side 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 similarity um, but what do these two triangles have in common well this is triangle STJ this is triangle KLJ STJ KLJ so both triangles have angle J in common uh, so this triangle has angle J and this triangle has angle J and look at that this J is being sandwiched by the sides so we can say that in this one we can just say angle J is congruent to angle J we don't have to be specific because there really is only one angle J and in the previous episode um, I showed you the reason for this please don't say vertical because these aren't vertical angles they don't make an X but J looks this looks like a, a, a reflection because it's looking at itself right and so the reason that J is congruent to itself is because of the reflexive property. Or you could just say reflexive. And so now we have our side angle side. So we now say triangle STJ is similar to triangle KLJ. Put that circle and the reason is side angle side similarity hey don't forget the arrows we can't come to this conclusion if it doesn't flow these three bubbles don't flow into our final conclusion conclusion uh, of that the two triangles are similar okay so STJ is similar to KLJ um, you can change the order just make sure the order is corresponding to the other order so you could have said L K J S or T S J um, but yeah important part is you got these three side angle side similarity all right and then the last example use a flow chart to prove that the two triangles are similar uh, T U V T B C okay so let's compare let's start with this triangle uh, 14 is the shorter of the two sides right and 14 the ut ut or tu <clears throat> is going to be compared to tb tb is over seven which is the shorter of the two sides that they give us which is two given over here uh we're, we're going to compare uh vt which is 18 over its corresponding side, uh, which is TC, which is 8. Wait, what? How many times does 8 go into 18? Can we simplify that? Um, we can simplify it to 9 over 4. But if we divide it 9 over 4, that's 2.25, not 2. That's 2.25, not 2. So, these two sides, pairs of sides, are not proportional. So, look at that. We could just say that not similar because we don't have to do any more. 
Because remember, similar triangles have to have proportional sides. And before we even go on and use more ink, we've already noticed that the sides aren't even proportional. So yeah, here's our conclusion. Boom, not similar because sides are not proportional. All right, so that's it. Okay, so that's side angle side. Like you could have talked about these two vertical angles, but we could we we don't have to because the sides aren't proportional. All right, so just remember, side angle side is our third tool to prove two triangles are similar, along with side 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 similarity and angle angle similarity. Just for SAS, just remember the angle has to be sandwiched between the two sides that are proportional. All right, that's how you use side angle side similarity. Have a great day.